Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Thank you, Sharon. You? Very nice. Awesome. Thank We're going to wait. Yes. We're going to wait for the rest of the class. We're going to start at 8.5 in order to give chance for the rest of your classmates to get connected, OK? OK. OK, awesome. Okay, good evening again, students. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, good teacher. teacher. Okay. How are you today? Very good, teacher. Okay, ready for the class? Yep. Awesome. That's perfect. Okay, by the time the classmates are getting connected, we're going to start because we are on time. And so we have to start with the class in order to have enough time to make the activities and the practice that we have to do in every class, okay? Um, but before we start, I'm uh, uh, take the attendance list in order to take uh, your assistance. And then we're going to make the introduction of your teacher because you need to know what's the name of your teacher and some profiles about me, okay, in this, in this case. But um, before I do that, I'm gonna give you my name. My name is Jonathan Rios. I'm gonna be your teacher for this model. And I'm really happy to be here, be able to be part of your process, of your learning process. 
So I hope you to have a good relationship between students and teacher with this model. And for me, it's really nice to be here in this place. Uh, of course, online, right? But um, we're going to make like if we were in a face-to-face -face class. I'm going to try my best in order to make you feel comfortable in the class and to have a lot of practice and, of course, to get improved with your English. Okay? Perfect. Okay. As soon as you listen your name, please tell me present, okay? Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Aminda René Present. Figueroa. Okay, very nice. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Belén Batres García. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Davy Yasmin Giron Ramirez. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present. Okay, very nice. Ever de Jesus Candray Montano. Jose Roberto Martinez Bernabe. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. Oscar Alnurfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Okay, very nice. Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonia Ivet Alvarenga. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Walter Omar Castaneda Perla. Perdón. Perlera, teacher. Oh, perdón. Sí, Perlera. Yes. Perlera, I'm sorry. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Present. Okay, very nice. Excellent. Okay. Um, I don't know if one of you that have recently connected. I, I, I think you missed the attendance. Can you give me your name in order to take the mm -hmm. attendance list for you? David Hiro. Debbie Hiron. Okay, excellent. Who else? Somebody else who missed the attendance? Vanessa Reyes. Vanessa, <laughs> okay, very nice. Who else? Let me check here. Okay, very nice. I think we are all ready. Okay, awesome. So right now I'm gonna make you a presentation because it's uh, necessary for me to do it because it's a request for the company to do. So I'm gonna present uh, some information about your teacher for this model. Okay, uh, let me know if you can watch the screen. Give me a chance. Okay, yes. Can you watch the screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, awesome, very nice. So welcome, this is uh, the English for Work program. We are in Intermed 4. So we're going to start this model today. Of course, um, I'm really happy for you because by this time you have a lot of time during the process 
and you have learned a lot of English and technical vocabulary about um, the English for word program, right? In this case, I'm gonna be your teacher. So I'm gonna be in charge of teaching you in this model. So my name is Jonathan Aristi Rios Ortez. I'm gonna be your teacher. Um, it's up to you if you want to call me just teacher. It's up to you, okay? So um, this is intermediate four. Uh, I'm gonna present uh, a background about my uh, experience. So in uh, my, my academic process, I have been like teaching a degree in English. And of course I have taken some didactic uh, planification of teaching. Um, the accreditation in order to be a facilitator with uh, INSAFOR in uh, as an English teacher, of course. And some uh, diplomas that I have taken during my process of uh, development, okay. Uh, during my experience, I've been working in different companies, uh, institutions like uh, Ingress, for example, Ingress Cooperativo, the ones who is uh, providing you this uh, course at Universidad de Rado Barrios, UGV, uh, Univer Universidad de Oriente, San Miguel. Um, of course, as a music teacher in public schools, I've been like working in, in that process too. Uh, I've been council member of a city. And of course, I've been a facilitator of the English programs since 2017. So this is part of my process. And of course, it's really interesting that you know, because you can be like more confident about the, the process. Okay, then um, I have another part that is about uh, homeworks and evaluations. Of course, remember that in these cases, we're going to have this information has been always presented to you, right? In every model. You have taken, the teachers have been like presenting this for you because it's a command. So for you, it's necessary to have the 80% of uh, the evaluations and the homeworks. So for you, it's a must to have the 80%, right? In this um, part of the evaluation process. Of course, um, the homeworks are in the platform. You have access to the platform. I think you all received the email, right? In order to have the access to the platform. Um, of course, uh, all the homeworks that you're going to have in the platform are going to be uh, part of the class. You're going to be evaluated and taking the homework about the class. We're not going to evaluate uh, anything that is not going to be presented during the class, okay? <laughs> Um, of course, uh, we have like uh, a due time. When we talk about uh, due time is that uh, we're going to have some specific uh, time to uh, make a midterm exam because you're going to have a midterm exam. And of course, it has to be during a specific time that I'm gonna let you know during the process when it's going to be, okay? And of course, in order to uh, make the final exam, I'm going to tell you when is the due time in order to present um, your final exam. Um, the, the book, the student's book is going to be in the platform too. If you have the time to download it, it's going to be easy. If you don't have it, let me know because I can send you right now by the WhatsApp. You're, you, you all have the, the book, right? No. Um... I don't know anything about the book teacher. I already have the platform, and I I I couldn't I I I got in, but about the book, I don't I don't think so. Oh, okay. And what about the rest? The rest of the class. Okay. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Yes, we got it uh, in the, in the PDF. In the okay, very nice. Early uh, sharing. Okay, but right now, if you if you give me a chance, I'm uh, I'm gonna send you the book right now in in WhatsApp again. All of you are in the WhatsApp group, right, Belen? You are in the WhatsApp group. No, teacher, I don't. <laughs> oh, okay, very nice. Have you checked your email? Yeah, yeah, the email right. Okay, then you have a link. In that link, you can join the group. Ah, okay. Okay, if you can do it right now, 
before I send the book? Okay. Okay, um, let me know when you, you got it. Okay, what about the rest? Yes. Okay, very nice. Rosibel and Davy, you all have uh, the WhatsApp group already? Yes. Okay. Yes, for me. Let me, let me join. Okay, very nice. Walter and Carlos? I try to join right now. Okay, very nice. Uh, Bernabe, Wendy, and Adela? Yes, I'm in the group, in my case. Okay, very nice, excellent. Yes. Okay, very nice. Yes, teacher. Okay, awesome, very nice. Okay, so this is part of the information that I have to uh, share with you because it's really necessary to um, share this information in order to have like clear aspects in during the process, right? Okay. Um, Done, teacher. Okay, very nice. I'm gonna send the, the book right now. Give me a second. Please, teacher, uh, let me join. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Join the group and let me know when you're when you're done. Okay, let me check. Um, Ever de Jesus and Aminda, are you in the group? Vanessa? Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Uh, in this case, I think I don't have like uh, listeners during the class. Uh, everybody's going to be like uh, really uh, in, the, in the in the process. Um, of course, it is like a command to have the the camera on because in the case of you are very necessary as the students to have like the camera on because some of the cases um, I can make sure that you are connected during the class and you are. Uh, paying attention, etc. Right? Um, this is kind of uh, really important because, um, and of course, it's really difficult at the same time. We know we live in El Salvador and we have a lot of uh, noisy moments about dogs and motorcycles, cars, um, uh, our neighborhoods sometimes are listening to music at the night. So it's like complicated for us, but it is uh, the most we can do in order to avoid the noisy moments is going to be good, okay? And of course, mm. yes? Okay, and of course, it's really important to uh, active participation. Uh, my classes are like interactive classes. I like from you to speak too much, to have the time to um, give your point of view, uh, to create some expositions. You're, we're going to work in that process. So I want you to be like, um, to collaborate to me in that process because I, I'm gonna let you speak too much, okay? And of course, to have a lot of practice with your classmate because that's the, the really necessary part. Okay, I don't know if you have any question on to here. No? No, no, teacher. Clear like water. No, teacher, clear. Yep. Clear okay. like Orchata. Yes, no worries. Clear like Orchata. Okay, very nice. Teacher. Actually. Teacher, yes. sorry. I, I can join in the link WhatsApp. Uh, but have you received the link in, by the email? Yeah, I received, but uh, when I try to... Uh, yeah, let me in the cell phone, maybe. Because uh -huh. in, in the web, uh -huh. Trying your cell phone and... and... Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. It's because if you do any in the computer, uh, the link try to make you download it, the WhatsApp. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to make uh, the, the Q barcode. Yeah. You have mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. get connected. Uh-huh. Okay, let me know when you have it. Okay. Okay.
Very nice. So, okay. Right now, we're going before we start. We're going to. Um, I want to know about you, okay? Because I've been talking about me. So I'm a. I told you that I'm a teacher and I'm a musician too. Um, that I like to teach uh, some talkative class. So right now, I want you to know your name, of course, where you live. And I, I want you to ask, what is your goal during this model? Okay, I want to listen to you, what is your goal? And why are you going to have this process? Okay, perfect. Um, I don't know if you want to start as a volunteer or if I can be like calling you by the name and then you start with your presentation. Or you wanted to start as a volunteer? I can start, teacher. Okay, thank you, Belen. Okay, um, well, my name is uh, Belen Batres. I only have one name. And so um, I'm working in Bank of America. And maybe one of my goals with this module is because I want to work in a different position, maybe not in the bank, maybe in another world, or have more opportunities as soon as I can. And if you don't ask it, but maybe something that I really like it is um, uh, the animals. And oh. as you can see of the, uh, how can I say, um, body modi modifications, body, I don't know, that, all the things about the, 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 the modifications. Uh, modifications uh-huh and modification the body modifications right ah okay okay yeah. very nice that's all teacher okay very nice excellent good interesting very nice good point of view about to uh, uh, increase in your company or maybe not in your company but in a different position job right in, in a different, different yeah. place of course very nice good okay who else wants to be volunteer No volunteer? Therapeutically or volunteer? Okay, I'm gonna call uh, Roberto, yes. I think you won, right? Uh, okay, teacher. Sorry, I can't put my camera because I'm uh, actually I'm going to uh, drive, but uh, okay. I, I can't participate. Um, well, uh, my name is uh, Jose Roberto Martinez. I am working in McCormick uh, in Antiguo Cuscatlán. Um, okay. I have been working this place uh, uh, 15, or uh, yes, yes, 15, 15. years old. Okay. Yes. Um, <clears throat> and then when my my interest uh, in this um, in this model is improve my uh, knowledge about English, uh, maybe uh, more conversation. Um, uh, principal, this I think. Okay, very nice, excellent, Robert. So it means that you have a lot of time in your company. Fifteen years are too many years, right? Awesome, very nice. Okay, somebody else who wants to be a volunteer? Let me listen. Me too, okay, thank you, Mariano. Okay, uh, my name is Mariano Paca. I work in Maxima Tecnología with, uh, I'm a technical advisor. Uh, I want to learn English to have better opportunities in my work and search another opportunities. Uh, only this very nice Mariano that's good of course English are like many opportunities that you can work for um, even as a teacher if you know a lot of English you can have the time to work as a teacher and of course you can be working in a call center 
you can work as an interpreter, as a translator. So you have many doors open when you learn English. Okay, very nice, excellent, very good. Uh, somebody else? From the ones who are missing? Uh, me, teacher. Okay, very nice, Aminda, excellent. Okay, my name is Aminda Figueroa. I work in, in TACA International, is the airline is part of Avianca Group Airlines. Okay. So I live in San Salvador. And my personal objective for this course is practice more English and learn more uh, vocabulary. So. Okay, very nice. That's perfect. Very good. Okay, awesome. that's it. Okay. okay. I'm really happy to listen to you that you are focused on learning more vocabulary to improve your English, to have more practice, and that's really nice, okay? Of course, we're going to do that. Okay, who who else? Good evening, teacher B. Good, e good evening, Ever. Sorry for my uh, turn off camera, but I just say come into my home and I'm finished my dinner. My dinner, yes. Okay. A few minutes, it's round. Yes, my name is uh, Ever Candray. I live in Salvador. I work in a family company and a um, and a church in a, uh, the uh, the representative sales in the company. You know, uh, my objective in this is page for the the one of the English is to increase my vocabulary and important and more practice for my listening because I, I think this is one part of I need to increase too. And that's all. The okay. objective principle is because we got a, a, a lot of customers and a lot of provider in the United States with uh, putting in contact with him uh, dieting. and I need to, to talk more fluently with him. Okay, awesome, really, really interesting. So in this case, English is going to be really necessary in your job and going to help you too much, right? Okay, very nice, excellent. Uh, so. Okay, who else? The ones who are missing? Me, teacher. Okay, very nice, Walter. My name is Walter Castaneda and I am working in McCormick. Uh, my goal for this model is to improve my pronunciation and, and my vocabulary too. Okay, very nice. That's perfect. Excellent. Okay. Uh, of course, we're going to improve the English. Then we're going to have a lot of practice and that's going to help us in order to have a fluent communication, to get involved in the answering in questions, situations. And of course, how to provide a point of view is going to be part of us, okay? Very nice. Uh, who else? Me, teacher. Okay, very nice, Wendy, excellent. Okay, my name is Wendy Karina Morales Amaya, and I work in a high school that is uh, Instituto Jesus Obrero. It is located in Ateos, uh, in Sacacoyo. Okay. And in this time, I would like to improve my English, especially uh, speaking, because I think that is the mo most difficult part uh, to learn English here in El Salvador because everybody speaks Spanish. So it's very difficult to practice with someone. Uh, so this is my objective for this time. Thank okay, you. very nice. Excellent. Very good. So we have a teacher here, too. And that's really nice. Uh, and of course, um, Learning English for us is not like easy because we have nobody to practice. So for you, these two hours are going to be your practical time. So you have to take advantage of the time you're going to be here in order to practice as much as you can, right? Okay, very nice, excellent. Who else from the ones that are missing? Me, teacher. Um... Okay, very nice, Domingo. Uh, hello, good evening. Uh, uh, my, good evening. my name is uh, Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Um, I like this the uh, I like in Conjutepeque. Uh, 
I work in Rayones del Salvador. I, I work in the area of Man, the Manchinis Electric. Okay. It's, my my object, object is uh, left uh, English is uh, my difficult is pronunciation is 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 practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice, Domingo. Of course, uh, for all the English learners, uh, the most difficult part is speaking. Okay, we all have the problem. Of course, we as teacher, when we are in the pro learning process, the most difficult part is to speak English. Of course, because we're afraid to make mistakes, and we we are always thinking maybe I can pronounce different. I can say another word. Uh, I don't want to be misunderstood by the people. And of, of course, we think about all the bad things, but don't worry to commit mistakes because that's a part of the process, okay? Um, try to speak as much as you can, and that's going to be like uh, really nice for you in order to improve your English. Okay, who else from the ones who are missing? We still have students that have not uh, introduced. Teacher, I just want to say an observation. Uh, because I don't use Wi-Fi, I use my uh, my cell phone to connect with the internet. So if and sometimes maybe it can be a little slower or I don't know, but it's just an observation in my case. Okay, very nice. Of course, yeah. Remember, we're living in Salvador and we all have problems with internet connection. So especially in this time of winter, that uh, as soon as uh, rain starts internet lost and we have like um, not working properly the wi-fi and so maybe it's going to be part of problems that we're going to have right okay very nice excellent rosivel i think you wanted to uh introduce to your classmates and to the teacher right yeah yes, okay yes. very nice hi everybody i'm working in my farm in central america in my department, uh, my goal for this uh, program is approve my, my English, especially in pronunciation, and no uh, knowledge, uh, vocabulary, and, and speaking too. Okay, very nice. Excellent. Welcome, Rosivel. Okay, you. very nice. Who else would the one are missing? Me, Mr. Okay, Salvador. Excellent. Okay, my name is Salvador Sorto, but uh, you can call me Chamba, please. <laughs> okay, very nice. Uh, and well, uh, I work in Tigo. I, I work in sales. And well, in, in this model, I hope to learn more vocabulary and speak more fluid. Okay, very nice, excellent. Very nice. Welcome, Salvador, and to the class. And of course, uh, we're going to have the practice, as I told you before, in order to improve your language. Okay, we're still missing uh, some students. So I think we're missing Carlos, Davy, Oscar, and Adela, I think, and Vanessa. Oh, Adela, I think, everybody. Uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Good evening, Carlos Membreño. I'm Carlos Membreño. Um, uh -huh. I, I want to learn more English and increase my vocabulary and practice my speaking. Okay, very nice. Excellent. That's good. Thanks. Really interesting. Welcome, Carlos. And of course, you're going to be uh, in a learning process. Okay, um, I don't know, Davy. Hello, it's Debbie. Sorry. Uh, Debbie. Debbie. Okay, I'm sorry. Only yes. Only Debbie. <laughs> okay, uh, Debbie, I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Debbie. Uh, I'm a graphic designer. Um, I'm 34 years old. Um, I have a daughter. Okay. Uh, awesome. Her name is Fiorella. She's five years old. Um, I only 
need my English more fluently. Okay, and excellent. Live the la pena. I don't know how to say the pena. Okay, uh, to to <laughs> break the eyes. In this case, it's to break the eyes and to not to be afraid of talking. Yes. Okay, Easy. very nice. Excellent, very good. Of course. We're going to work on that. Okay. Um, I don't know. Vanessa, do you already pass? No, right? Um, I don't know if uh, Oscar. Okay. Hello. Hi, hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Oscar. Uh, I learned to English but my case is the best life in the future but is the i was uh, i will the opportunities man, with the learn fluency in english and the uh, living in the united states okay very nice Oscar. excellent of course to have more opportunities in the future is one of our goals right and of course, you're going to have it. Okay. Uh, I don't know, Adela, do you already passed? I don't remember exactly. Hello. No, right? You haven't Hi. introduced to yourself, right? My name is Adela Trinidad Gonzalez, and my nickname is Trini. Okay. I am a, a teacher, I work in. Sonsonate. Okay. I live in Sonsonate. Two. Okay. okay, very um, nice. Only. <laughs> okay, very nice. Very, very nice, really. Okay, welcome. And, and of, of course, it's going to be really nice for you as a teacher, going to have a good time learning. Okay, Vanessa. Okay, excellent. Okay, I think all of you have already passed. I have listened to all of you and I'm really happy to uh, know that you all wanna learn. Okay, Leticia, uh, you have recently connected. Welcome to the class, good evening. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so we are in the part of like, let let introduce yourself and give us a name and what is your goal in this model? And of course, where do you work and where do you live? You want to tell us. Okay. Uh, my name is Leticia and I'm, I'm going uh, to learn in that moment because I have difficult to uh, speak English. So I have introduced uh, by my, 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 my classmate and uh, also, I live in Planet of uh, uh, behind in the in the Puerto Diablo. Okay. 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 Excellent. Very nice. Okay. Welcome. Okay, students. So, as uh, now you have already introduced yourself, we're going to start with the class, uh, just with the topics. So. As I told at the beginning, we're going to be working with intermediate uh, English uh, four, right? With the English for Word program. Okay, um, this is your model. Oh, I forgot to send you the, the, the model. Let me give me a chance, give me a chance. Okay. I send you already. Let me know if you got it. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. So this is the model we're going to be working. And this is the book. Um, all of you are going to have this uh, book in your platform. If you look for it, you're going to find it. And you can download it, okay? In order to have your, uh, your book in your cell phone, or, or I don't know if you're going to have it in the computer or in the laptop. Okay, so we have here like, um, uh like a welcome for you uh i don't know if you can help me to read aminda can you help me to read this part 
Okay. Uh, welcome to the learner. Welcome to the model four of the intermediate level. The set of worksheets will accompany you throughout 66 hours of instructions. From day one, you will acquire the competences that are necessary to communicate successfully in your workplace. All activities are uh, orient, oriented. To, to oriented to develop listening, compression, speaking, reading, writing, pronunciation, grammar, grammar, and vocabulary skills. Okay, very nice, excellent. Okay. okay, it says welcome to the model four of the intermediate level. These sets of worksheets will accompany you throughout 56 hours of instruction. So we're going to work with 56 hours, okay? From day one, you will acquire the competences that are necessary to communicate you successfully in your workplace. All activities are oriented to develop listening comprehension, speaking, reading, writing, pronunciation, grammar, and vocabulary skills. So this is part of the introduction or the welcome you're going to have. Um, I don't know if you can uh, help me with this part, Walter. Yes, you will also see some suggested websites for accepted practice on your own and your free time. Congratulations for being a participant of this course and for giving your best to become competent in the English language. Very nice. You will also have some suggested websites for extended practice on your own in your free time. Congratulations for being a participant of this course. Oh my God, this made a moment. <laughs> okay. Um, of this course and for giving your best to be competent in the English language, okay? So this is part of the um, welcome they're going to have in this model, okay? So then we have the, some topics that we're going to find here. We are going to have uh, unit one distribution channel. Okay, we're going to be working with this and uh, the first unit. Then we have unit two logistics, uh, unit three warehouses, and now unit four inventory, okay? So this is the units that we're going to be working for during the model, okay? And of course, I want you to tell that we're going to uh, provide extra information about this. For example, in uh, unit one, we're going to be talking about the distribution channel, but by the time I, I'm gonna be trying to giving you information necessary to have uh, when you talk English in a daily life, in a real life. So we're going to uh, have like um, extra information, not only for work and of course for living vocabulary and uh, living situation when you use English, okay? I'm gonna try to give you some extra information in that case in order to make you like uh, learn the technical vocabulary and of course to learn uh, about real English uh, when you talk with American people and of course when you talk with uh, English speakers, okay? Very nice. So then we're going to have some uh, competencies here and we're going to work according to that. So we're going to be working in, in that part. Okay, um, we're going to, and for example, in the unit one distribution channel, we're going to have some competence that they're going to find a book. Okay, express advantages and disadvantages of direct and indirect distribution channels. Uh, desire of the most appropriate distribution channel for a product based on the information from matrix analysis. And of course, expressions to name elements, distribution, uh, whole, uh, wholesalers, distributors, dealers, retailers, consultant, all that information we're going to be like having according to this, right? Okay, so we're going to have some grammar parts, of course. I'm going to um, talk about some aspects as a comparisons using as, as. And we're going to talk about, of course, um, some adjectives. We're going to have a talking about using verbs in past, in the future, um, in the present perfect times too, okay? So that's part of the introduction. So now we're going to start with uh, uh, unit one, which is the distribution channel, okay? Okay, uh, I don't know right now if 
um, Domingo, can you help me to read this part? I will be over to this expresses power this um is this is cyber this or direct uh um indirect distribution channel. Okay, okay. I will be able to express advantages and disadvantages of direct and indirect distribution channels. So we're going to have the opportunity to talk about that, right? Okay, um, in this case, we're going to have the opportunity to talk about advantages and disadvantages of direct and indirect distribution channels. So we're going to be talking about that. And here we have some uh, starting process, right? We're going to have saw this part. Um, I don't know if you can help me, Debbie. Debbie, right? Yes, Debbie. Okay, I, I didn't say Davy. Davy was at the beginning. Now it's Debbie. Yeah. Okay, Debbie, can okay. you make uh, a reading about this question? Does your company sell product and service directly to the consumers? Okay, very nice. So we have a question. Does your company sell products and service directly to the customers? So let's answer this question. For example, um, in your company, uh, does your company sell products and service directly to the customers? Mm -hmm. In my case, yes. Yes. Okay, very nice. What about the rest? In my company, no. No. My company, no. yes. Okay, David, yes. Okay, and then yes, Domingo, no. Okay, who else? In my company, yes. Two. Okay, very nice. What about the rest? Yes, in my company too, we got a, a directly contact with the customer. Okay, very nice, excellent. What about the rest? Okay, so we have the next question. Uh, I don't know if you, Belen, can you help me to ask this question? Yes. Okay. Just a moment. Um, does your company sell products and service directly to the customer? What kind of business distribute the product to other stores? Okay. What kind of business distribute their products to other stores? Okay. So in this case, um, what companies, okay, what kind of business distribute their product to other stores? Uh, in your company, for example, what kind of business distribute the product to other stores? In my case, maybe it's a service, it's not a product. Ah, uh... uh, yes, yes, because it's in a bank, right? Yeah. Okay, yes, it's a service. That's true. What about the rest? Teacher, can you repeat the, the, the word distrib distri distribute? Okay, repeat. Distribute. 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 Uh -huh. Distribute. Okay. Butte. This V with you is pronounced butte, distribute. Okay. Okay, very nice. Um, that's good. If you have a doubt about a pronunciation, just let me know, okay? And of course, if you feel that I talk too fast, let me know too, because sometimes I, I when I'm working with intermediate or advanced, um, I used to talk too fast, okay? But it's because part of the process. But if you feel that I talk too fast, let me know, okay? In order to make a pause and to talk like slower, okay? Um, do you have any question and pronunciation of this one? No, okay, very nice. So we're going to have um, a conversation right now. Uh, let me check if you can do the part of. Um, Ever is going to be Joel and Rosibel is going to be Ellie. Okay. Okay, Mr. Okay, very nice. So Rosibel is going to start 
we as Ellie, and then uh, Ever is going to be Joel. Okay. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with Constantine. I don't have any experience with distribution option. We sell everything directly because I'm in store or on the store. Uh, me neither. Maybe we will ask around. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from uh, partnerships with a retail store. Well, let's give it a try. And if you are success, we can sell more from our catalog of the stories. Okay. Very nice. Um, now I want to listen to Domingo is going to do with Vanessa. Domingo is going to be Joel and Vanessa is going to be Ellie. Okay. 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 I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. 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 Really, well, we we will we will need to check with a consultant. Consultant, I don't have any 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 experience, any, any experience. Why distribution? Say distribute distribution. Uh, distribution uh, option. We sell uh, every time every time direct uh, to the consumer throne or or online. Store. store me neither maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retail store nice let's give a three um is this is uh, a success we can sell more from our catalogs and store okay very nice excellent now, Belen is going to be Eli, and Salvador is going to be Joel, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution option. We sell everything directly to the customer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we can ask around and see how much profit we could get from partnership with a retail store. Let's give a try and if it is a success, we can sell more from or catalog at the store. Okay, very nice, excellent. Okay, right now uh, I'm gonna listen to Leticia and it's going to be Ellie and who is going to be Carlos. I am thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for an entrepreneur. What is the pronunciation? Entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs. Uh -huh. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. We need our, maybe we could ask our own and see how much profit we could get from a father, partnership with a re, re, Retailers store. Let's give it a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Okay, very nice. Mariano is going to be Joel, and we're going to have uh, Sonia is going to be Ellie. Okay, teacher. 
Okay. Sonia? Sonia? Okay, so in this case, going to be Amanda. Oh. Sonia, Sonia, yes, you are there, right? Can you hear me? Yes, right now. Thank you. Uh, who start? You're going to start, you're going to be Ellie. Okay. I think it's about selling 55 copies uh, of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Really? Well, we will need to share with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the customer, consumer that our online store. Me neither. Maybe we call us around and see how much for free for fight we could get from a partnership with our retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it has success, we can sell more from our catalog at store. Okay, very nice. So right now it's going to be Roberto. It's going to be with Wendy. Wendy's going to be Ellie and Robert is going to be Joel. Okay. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with the consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with our retail store. Let's keep, keep a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Very nice, excellent. So right now, we're going to listen to Walter is going to do the practice with Aminda. Okay. I think about selling physical copies of our audio training program for the entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with our consult. I don't have any experience with distribution option. We sell everything directly to the customers through our online stores. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retail store. Let's give a try. And if it's a success, we can sell more from our catalog or catalog stores. Okay, very nice accent. Now Dave is going to be Ellie and we're going to have, um, let me think one of the boys were missing, Oscar. Okay, I yes. think about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneur. Really, well, we will need to check with a consult. I don't have any experience with the distribution option. We sell everything directly to the consumer through online store. Minir, maybe we call us around to see how much profile, profile we could get from a partnership with a related retailer store. store. Retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is so, we can sell more from our catalog at the store. Okay, very nice, excellent. Now we're going to listen to Mariano. It's going to be Joel, and Adele is going to be Ellie.
Okay. Excellent. So from the rest, nobody's missing, right? Okay. Uh, we're going to work in some pronunciation parts. For example, this uh, physical, repeat physical. Like, like an F sound, physical, physical. Okay, and um, this one, entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, repeat. Okay, um, consultant. Consultant. Experience. Experience. Distribution. Distribution. Uh, directly. Directly. Not directly, not directly. Directly. Um, through. Can you repeat that again, teacher? Directly. Dire, dire, ah. Direct, directly. Directly. Yes, directly. Okay, directly. So we have the, the next one, through. It's not through, mm -mm, it's through. Repeat, through. The other is other word, right? Yes, if you say true, you are pronouncing the, this word. True about something real. If, if you say true, you are this one. But if you say through, you're going to pronounce this. Okay, that's English. Okay, through. Um, me neither. Me neither. When we when you say me neither, it's another way to say um, yo tampoco, verdad? As in Spanish, yo tampoco, right? Okay. Um, profit. Profit. Partnership. Partnership. Retailer store. Retailer store. Okay, this expression is going to be useful. Let's give a try. Let's give a try. Repeat, let's give a try. Uh, success. Success. Teacher, in the case of let's give a try, it's like if if I say uh, we have to do it or let's try it, or uh -huh. como intentémoslo or something like that. Yes. Or let's give it a change. Let's give a try is that way to say, um, démosle pues, ah, ah. en español, como dicen en español, okay. démosle pues, ah, démosle, vamos a ver qué sale, va. So, uh, Tal vez un chiripón, that's the expression like we use normally use, right? Let's give a try, okay. like to give a chance to do something. Right? So it's mm. like taking a risk, como tomar mm. un riesgo en algo, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. Let's give a try. Yes, yes let's give a try. Let's give a let's try. Let's give it a try. Let's uh -huh. give it a try. Yes. Okay. okay, when we say success, it's el éxito, ¿verdad? Success, exit. So the expression says, let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Catalog, repeat catalog. Catalog. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want to like have um a doubt about the meaning of a sentence? Alguna duda sobre alguna pronunciation or sobre alguna expression, the meaning in Spanish? Only the meaning for entrepreneur. Ah, when we say entrepreneurs, es como decir los emprendedores. ¿verdad? 
como los emprendedores. Right. Ajá, yes. For entrepreneurs. And about profit? Uh, profit, uh, profit is like, when we say, let me see where's profit. Ellie yeah. and the second. Yes, yeah. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with it. Okay, a profit is like to get like, um, it's like to have the opportunity to get experience with somebody else, right? And to have like more um, um, from a group in order to have like more experience about the process of doing. In this case about, um, they want to have experience with distribution options. So when they say profit, it's going to have like how they're going to have the experience, right? Okay. And the partnership in this case, what it's about? Oh, with well, partnership is like in order to say like with los amigos, con nuestros conocidos, nuestros cheros, nuestros camaradas. I don't know. Oh, okay. The way you wanted to have it. Con nuestros brothers, con nuestros hermanos. It's like that. Okay. Okay. And, and when we say retail store, uh, is talking about um, cuando se vende por mayor, right? Mayorista, right? Retail stores. So tiene de mayoreo, right? Retailer store. Um, what another one? No? Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, if you see here, we're going to work in some uh, topics and we're going to use will in order to talk about future. Do you remember where we used uh, the topic about future with Will? Yes, Will is talking about future, but of course it's talking about uh, the possibility that you can have something. But of course we have a sun specific topic when we talk about uh, conditionals. Have you heard about conditionals? Yes. Yes? What do you remember about conditionals? Um, I'm not really sure about it, but uh, maybe if, if the cool in my. Oh, okay, cool in mind. Okay, vamos. Let me check in here. Um, text key. Okay, when we talk about conditions, conditionals. Very nice. When we talk about conditionals, uh, you say cool and? Might. Might, okay, very nice. Awesome, uh, very nice. Okay, what else? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, very nice. Our We're going to one. have like a review. <laughs> the rest, what do you remember is about conditionals? If. If, okay, very nice, good. What else? The rest? Wood. Wood. Okay, very nice. I don't know, should. Mm -hmm. I I'm sorry? Domingo? Mm. Faster? No. Fast? Past. No, after, after. This one. I don't know. Um, I can listen to you very well, Domingo. Can you repeat, please? It's after, after. 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 This one? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, very nice. Okay, very nice. Who else? Okay, when we talk about conditionals, we have four different conditionals. Okay, we have the first one, which is the zero condition. Conditional. Okay, very nice. Then we have the next one, which is the first condition. Okay. 
Then we have the, the next one, which is the second condition. And we have the last one, which is the third condition. Okay, perfect. All of these ones are conditions about talking about cause and effect. When we use these ones, we use in order to have like a cause and a result, so an effect, right? Since the zero to the third, we talk about cause and effect. But what happens with this zero conditional? When we talk about zero conditional, we talk about real situations. Real situations, okay? For example, we use um, and a sentence in the case, if, and so we use if when the classmate says, if we read, of if we practice English, sorry, if we practice English, comma, we learn more. So here we have a conditional zero sentences. If we practice English, we learn more. So the condition is if we practice English. The result is that if we practice English, we learn more. So that's why we use conditionals. In the case, we're going to be using them because it's going to be necessary for us. In this case, we're, we are using here simple present and after the comma, another simple present statement, right? So the zero conditional is used with simple present. And we talk about real things. If we practice English, we learn more. It's like to say in Spanish, si practicamos inglés, aprendemos más, right? A cause and effect. So in this case, it's really important for us to have the, the point of view that zero conditional is used in order to talk about what is something real that happened if you do this. So in the case, if you do this, the result is going to be this, okay? So what can be another sentence that we can have like in zero conditional? Can you give me an example? Mm -hmm. Can you think about an example of zero conditional with a uh, first uh, sentence? Maybe it could be if we don't, if we mm -hmm. don't sleep as well. If we don't speak well. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh, oh, sleep. I'm sorry, okay, sleep. Yeah, sleep as well. Sleep well, brother. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I don't remember how to say como desvelado. Uh, we're going, we're, we're, going we're, we're going to be. Uh, okay, I slept. We're going to be asleep. tired. Yeah. We're going to be tired. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If we don't sleep well, but in this case, we are tired. Because, okay. okay, because uh, future statements we use with first condition. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, if we don't sleep well, we are tired. Okay, this is the cause and effect. If we don't sleep well, si no dormimos bien, no, estamos cansados. Tired. Yeah. Right, okay, very nice. So if we don't sleep well, we're tired. It's something through. ¿verdad? At least you are an special human that you can be like sleeping late every day and the next day you're going to be with energy and all your um, capabilities to work really nice, it's up to you, right? But uh, almost everybody, when we miss some hours about sleeping, we are tired the next day. Okay, perfect. If we don't sleep well, we're tired. We're using here bird to be. Do you remember bird to be, right? Talking about zero star, we use bird to be. Okay, so why I'm trying to give you this? Because when we're talking about cells, 
we're going to um, use this zero conditional as always. For, for example, if you want to uh, have a promotion for your customers, imagine you, you are selling tickets. If you buy one right now, you receive another one as a gift. Imagine that you are selling um, some tickets, okay? And you want to sell as much as you can. And um, Davey says, uh, okay, if you buy one right now, you receive another one as a gift. Es una forma de decir, si usted me compra otro, recibe uno como regalo. Right? So it's useful when we talk about uh, products. When we talk about sales, we're going to use a lot of times zero conditionals. Imagine, um, for example, um, I don't remember if uh, Minda, Aminda, yes, you told me about uh, group, Grupo Taka, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So sometimes you have to sell some tickets, some flights, and some extra things, right? So you're going to be using this a lot of time in order to have promotions. If you buy yeah. two, if you buy two tickets, or if you buy a family ticket, you're going to receive a, a VIP seat at center, right? So yeah, yeah, we're going to use this a lot of times. Imagine uh, if uh, you're working as in a bank as uh, Belen, and you are trying to sell, I, I don't know, insurance, and you say, okay, if you get uh, insurance for these 15 days, you're going to receive uh, some bonus to buy in supermarket. So we use a lot of zero conditions. So we're going to work with zero conditionals at the beginning in order to have a lot of practice. And then we're going to be working with the next one. First conditionals is going to talk about real things too. But in first conditional, we talk about some future results. When we use Teacher, first condition, yes? Sorry, just to be clear. And mm -hmm. the zero conditional is using the present, the, the simple present and, and a real situation, right? Yes, simple present in both sentences. Both because, sentences. Okay. yes, because we have some sense. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Second, okay. Yes. We have uh, the cause and the effect, right? Fact. Yes, yes. Okay. So in this case, we're going to have the if clause. This is like the structure. I'm gonna move this, okay, here. The structure is for zero conditional. It's about, for example, um, the if class. When we talk about the if, is the statements going to be with if, uh, like this one, if. Okay, if plus simple present. Then a comma and the next sentence with a simple present. So this is the structure in order to be used with um, the zero condition. Okay, we use the structure if. Okay, if means Sí, in Spanish. The, el if significa sí, ¿verdad? Pero no un sí de, de sí, de sí acepto, sí quiero. Sino un sí de si haces esto, pasa esto. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, cuando our fathers are trying to uh, tell you something. Okay? Cuando, cuando estábamos pequeños, nuestros papás nos decían, si te vas, te pego. ¿verdad? Si te corres, te tiro el chancletazo, right? Okay. 
usaban zero conditional y no sabíamos, ¿verdad? Hasta hoy no estamos dando cuenta. Ok, so uh, if is like to give a, what is going to be the cause if a result happens, right? Ok, so this is the structure. And of course, the if is going to be in the same position, if practice English. We need to be sure about what is the topic we're going to talk and what is the cause and what's going to talk about the fact. We need to be sure, okay? So the first and the zero conditional, both of them are talking about some real aspects. But in the first conditionals, not everything is like real. There can be some possibilities. So maybe that can happen or not, because it's a possibility. For example, uh, we use future in the result. And we say, uh, if you play soccer, you will be a professional football, right? Uh, it's going to be a possibility. It's not like going to be just because you play soccer, okay? But then in, in later on, we're going to see about second and third conditional. Second and third conditional, they are going to talk about something that is not real true. It's something that is not true. It's something that we think that could happen different, right? It's something that could have been different. Cuando hablamos del segundo y el tercer condicional, hablamos de algo que pudo haber sido diferente. Pero es algo que no es real. Right? So, como decir, imaginémonos que hoy nos lamentamos porque quizás antes teníamos el tiempo para haber hecho algo y no lo hicimos. ¿verdad? Y decir, por ejemplo, si yo hubiera estudiado inglés cuando estaba en, la, en bachillerato, ¿ok? Yo supiera bastante ahorita. Un ejemplo, es decir, esa, esa oración, uh, ese es un third condition. ¿verdad? Porque algo que hubiera sido así si yo lo hubiera hecho, pero quiere decir que es lo contrario. ¿Verdad? Porque como no aprendí cuando estaba en bachillerato, entonces hoy estoy aprendiendo hasta ahorita y me está costando, ¿verdad? Porque me implica más tiempo, eh, llego agotado del trabajo, eh, los quehaceres del hogar, los quehaceres con la familia, los compromisos extras, y que al final, pues, me, me estreso un poco más. Ok, sí, pero vamos a aprender siempre, right? But it could have different if you had practiced their English in the past. Ok, this is part of the topic we're going to be working for. Ok, I don't know if you have any question. No? Uh, just one question, teacher. Um, in the case of the first, the second, and the third conditional, it will be the kind of the same structure as the first, as the zero conditional. No, no. The no. first conditional we're going to have simple present in the in the if sentence. Yeah. And in the result, we're going to have will or going to talking about future. Okay. Okay, but uh, I, I'm not going to give you the structure right now because we're going to focus uh, on the zero conditional first. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to check the first one and then the second and then the third. We're going to be step by step. Okay, perfect. Uh, may I erase it? Puedo borrar esto? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. Yes, of course. Awesome. So we're going to have the time in order to practice about zero conditionals later on. Okay. Oh my God, what happened? Okay, here. Okay, so we are using zero conditional here. Look, in, and if it is a success, we can sell more for a catalog store. If it is a success, ¿verdad? si es un éxito, ¿Verdad? Podremos vender ¿verdad? desde nuestro catálogo en las tiendas. O sea que acá tenemos un conditional. Look. And if it is a success, if. If, right? Here is the clue. And if it is a success, we sell more for our catalog at store. So here we have conditionals. So. It's really important for us to worry about zero conditional because it's the one I'm going to have, right? Okay, right now we're going to be working in pairs. Nos vamos a ir a trabajar en, en, en parejas. Um, you're going to be discussing about the answer of the question here. 
Uh, how does Ellie want to expand their business? Do Joe and Ellie have experience with indirect distribution channels? What indirect distribution channels are they considering? Okay, we're going to be working on this in pairs. And of course, if you can have a practice about the conversation one more time, it's up to you, okay? And of course, then we're going to match about these meanings about retailer, consultant, distributor, wholesalers, manufacturers, representatives. We're going to uh, match which one is correct with another one, okay? So we're going to be in, working in page nine, exercise three and four. Okay, is it clear? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Clear like water. Give me a chance in here. Okay. If you have some problems with the uh, class where you're working because of the internet, just let me know, okay? I'm up there, I'm gonna be checking your uh, participations. Oscar, did you receive the invitation? Walter and Oscar? Hello. Uh, hello, okay. 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 Very nice. I I just was checking if you were like um uh, working properly with the internet. Yes, I don't yeah. have my manual in this moment. I disturb this manual for the job. Ah, uh, but I I send you uh in WhatsApp group. I don't know if you have checked it. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. Very nice. Mr. Walter. Hello, Oscar. Hola. Hola. I have the I have the manual. Mm -hmm. We are going to do the paid work. And number three. And write the answer. And discuss the answer to the question below. For example, the first is how does anyone to start their business? Uh, do Joel and Ellie have an experience with indirect distribution channel? Um, I think they didn't. They don't have any experience. Because uh, Joel, it's talking. Joel told Ellie that they uh, don't have any experience with distribution option because they sell face-to-face, uh, -face, I think. And, and the third one, what indirect distribution channel are they considering? Uh, I think the retail store, 
but I don't understand how they do it. Hola. Hola, hola. Solo estoy teniendo problemas con, con abrir mi, el documento. Oh. Hello, students. How's everything here? Hello, teacher. Did you finish already? Uh, no, yet I I uh, recently joined to the class. Ah, you recently connected. Yes, I can hear the instruction and ever um, no no answer. Oh, ever is okay. Very nice. Okay, we're working in uh page nine. In exercise three and four. Okay, let uh -huh. me. Start. You're going to, you're going to ask for some questions about uh, the conversation you have. About. Okay, let me looking for the book. Okay, very I, nice. I have in, in other cell, cell okay. phone. Okay, very nice, excellent. Thanks. To say, I Retailer. think the best word is who sailor, who world sailors. A small quantity. So what? one, two, three. And number three. Okay, an individual agency of co or company that sells and manufactures products to wholesale and retail customers. <laughs> uh, this a manufacturer representative. Yes. The number four is a consultant. Yes. Podría. <laughs> we can sell more from our cattle. Teacher. Yes. How do you say this word, cara? Catalog or catalog? Cara, catalog. Catalog. Ah, uh, catalog. Thank you. They are considering catalog stores. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much, teacher. Yeah, sí. Ya está acabando el tiempo. Retailer. Retailer store. Retailer store. Es a retailer. Okay. Yes. Y aquí tenemos que asignar que, que es cada cosa, dice. Yes. El Taylor, eh, se dijo que era. Um, el Taylor es lo que dijo que era la, la, el mayoreo, ¿va? Yes, sí. Entonces. Eh, ¿Qué? ¿Qué, ¿Qué otra indirecta distribución de canal are they considering? ¿Qué otra distribución? Y eh, creo que es donde dice we sell everything indirectly to the consumer through our online store. 
Creo que sería eso. ¿Cuál va? Vamos a ver. What? ¿Qué distribución, qué canales de distribución indirecta están considerando? Veamos, dice, really, physical pro, ok. Eh, well, dicen, we will not to check, we ask, uh, un, uh, dice que no tiene experiencia con opciones de distribución, uh -huh. porque ellos venden todo directamente. Bueno, eso sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ellos venden todo, everything, ajá, que ellos venden todo directamente al cliente en la tienda online. En, en nuestra tienda online, le dice. Uh -huh. Por eso yo te decía, aquí te dice. Sí, la segunda. Ajá, Maybe. Uh -huh. Podríamos nosotros preguntar acerca de cuánto es el beneficio que, oh, po que, 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 ajá, que podríamos obtener de una alianza con un detalle, con, con un proveedor de, o, o de venta al menor o por menor. Sí. O sea, que tú se lo llegas a dejar y que, la, y, que, y que esta persona pues o esta tienda lo revenda o lo venda por el detalle. Sería de... ¿Quieres ver? What did you say? They... Sería indirecto. They are considering. They considering... Indirect distribution. Ajá. Yes, you finish already? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay, very yeah. nice. <clears throat> the, the two exercises. Yes, yes. Okay, very nice. Excellent. Good. The, the retailer store, is that what they consider? Because um, as well as they are talking about, they don't have experience, but according to the idea that Ellie suggests, maybe the retailer store, it could be the more, the most uh make it be producer productivo teacher how do you say productivo in english productive productive okay mm -hmm. so in well, my opinion it could be the retailer store the answer to the third question but i don't know what you think about it Okay. The, the last question um, they can they can uh, choose or oh, yes choose a, a outdoor uh, distribution channel. Uh, oh, uh, well, for 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 example, uh, well, I don't know if if if. If they want to buy uh, 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 only, I think it's just only to uh, online and um, but is is online. Y this consultant and wholesaler. Wholesaler. Retailer and detallista, algo así. Oh. Retailer. Entonces, the professional person, a person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities. Could be that one. Great. A person. Creo que es retailer. A person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities for use. So, Número tres, le ponemos retailer. 
What else? Maybe could be and a, a professional who provides expert advice in a particular area, such as distribution logistic. This one consultant. Yes. Consultant. And an individual agency or company that sells and manufactures products to sell. Esta es la, la última que se manufactura representa. An individual agency or company that sells. No sé si ahí sería retailer o fabricant o, o manufacturer. Está en una área particular. Uh -huh. Y le siento a Indigo. A gente de Company. Yeah, I think that is okay. Okay, yes, Tali. Finish already. Yes, we're ready. Retail is minorista, entonces. Retailer. 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 No, retailer is a mayorista. Mayorista. But I, oh, no, no, I, no, 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 I look for the, the no, name no. and yes, it yes, yes, it is. Yes. Um, the, the whole seller is the mayorista. Yes, okay. yes. Uh -huh. Whole seller. Whole seller, yes, whole seller. Whole seller. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We have to complete only two exercises, right? Yes, just the, just only two. We're going to be back okay. in a few minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay. This is good. Resilience. Uh, the the cell down. Uh, in this case, they don't. Uh, they only use it that uh, channel, the online store. And then uh, Ellie uh, tried to put in a mm -hmm. wholesaler, right? Uh -huh. Wholesaler. Uh -huh. Wholesaler. Mm -hmm. Wholesaler. Retail consultant. Bye. Ya hicimos la tarea. You finished already? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very nice. Right now we're going to be back in the meditation. Okay, perfect. Okay.
Okay, do you all finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, very nice. Um, let's listen to the first question. Uh, how does Ellie want to expand their business? What are the answers that you have there? About uh, selling an audio uh, training. Okay. Selling the, the physical audio training, sorry. Okay, uh huh. Okay, they want to sell the physical copies of the audio, right? Copy of the audio training, yeah. Uh huh, yes, for entrepreneurs. Okay, very nice. Good. Do the rest of the class have something different or have the same? It's we the have same. something different. Walter, you have different? Yes, the, uh, to expand the business, she. She want to get a partnership with our retail store. So, okay, very nice. Okay. Okay, excellent. Um, in this case, when they say, for example, about the question, uh, how does Ellie want to expand their business? Uh, it's because she wants to sell physical copies of their audio, right? Training program for entrepreneurs. So in this case, uh, they want to add something extra for uh, future entrepreneurs, right? And it's about a training. It's like in order to make the entrepreneurs uh, with more profits in order to be a very nice uh, in the business, right? Okay. Number two, do Joel and Nelly uh, have experience with indirect distribution channels? No, they don't. They don't. No, they don't have any they experience. Very nice. No, they don't. No, they don't have experience. Okay, very nice. Good. Uh, number three. What indirect distribution channel are they considering? Retailer okay, so. store or maybe uh, sell for a catalog. Cat catalog. Catalog. Mm -hmm. Catalog, sorry. The okay. cat catalog. Well, well I, I understood that it's like they try to sell for a catalog and the retailer store. Yes. At the, okay. like combine it, maybe. Yes, it's combined. Yes. They're going to they're thinking about retail store, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, they are trying to thinking uh to think about so, sorry. To think about um, a catalog online. Okay, perfect. At the store. Um, very good. Uh, retail store is a minorista, ¿verdad? Una tienda al por menor. So they are thinking about that. Uh, of course, they want to start from the bottom. So that's the bottom, right? Okay, very nice. That's good. Excellent. Right now, we're going to check the next uh, answers about this part uh let me check here this ones okay um amas devi can you can you please help me to read number one uh microphone Debbie. Perdón, perdón. okay don't worry um and intermediate Intermediary, intermediary, intermediary uh -huh. entity in the distribution channel. They buy in the bulk and sells to resales. Okay, very nice. Which one is the one that you have there? Uh, we think is re retailer. No, it's retailer. No, me confundí. Okay. Which one do you have? The rest? Es que... Uh, for uh -huh, seller. Uh -huh. For seller. Uh, partner and me, uh, get confused too, but uh, we think it's wholesaler too. Okay. The rest? We have I don't know, I confused too. I, I think a distributor. Okay, there are someone thinking about, oh my God, what happened? 
there are someone thinking about distributor. Um, give me a chance. Um, can you watch the screen? No. No. Oh, no. Okay. Give me a chance. No. Give me a chance. Right now, yes, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So someone said wholesaler, another one said distributor, and another one said retailer, right? Okay. Yeah. We, we're now going to check, and we have to add at the beginning. Okay. Here, when we say intermediary about entity in the distributor. So I here we have manufacturer's representative. Number two, right? Sorry. Is that one? Number two. Oh my God. No. My, I don't know what happened with my computer. I think it's not working properly. Give me another chance so here. It's working slower. Do you think it's number two or it's number three? Number three. For, for, three. Me, for me, it's number three. Okay, yes. Number three. Number three, okay, Aminda? Retail. Retailer, okay. It's number three, retail is number three, yeah. Okay, here we have number three, verdad? Okay, very nice. Excellent. Let's go for the next one. Uh, can you, Belen, help me to read this one? Okay. An agent who supplies goods to a stores and other business to sell to consumers. Mm -hmm. a teacher, how do you say business? It's all right or it's another pronunciation? Businesses. This is in plural. <clears throat> businesses. Okay. Businesses. Okay. The main word is business. Okay. But now when we are making plural, businesses. Businesses, okay. Okay, very nice. Uh-huh, so the next one. I think that it's a wholesaler. Wholesaler, okay, the, the, the rest, next one. The rest of the class. For me, it's a distributor. Distributor, okay. Yeah, nice. distributor. The next one, the, the rest of the class? Distributor. Distributor too. Distributor too. Okay, what about the rest? I want to listen to all of you, all of you about this one. Uh-huh. For me, is manufacturer representative. Manufacturer representative. Manufacturer okay. Representative. It's right. Okay, let's check. Let's check the number in here. We're going to um, add the number. Which number do you think is going to be in the in the square here? Mm hmm. No podemos ver la pantalla, teacher. Oh, no parece <laughs> nuevamente. Oh, no, my teacher. God. <laughs> I had to buy another one. <laughs> I had to look for a distribution channel. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, okay, very nice. I don't know what happened. I think because it's the first class. Okay. So which number we have to add in here? So when we talk about agent supplies, number two is going to be in a different chart, not here, right? Yeah. Distributor. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Distributor? Distributor. 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 Okay, very nice. Excellent. Let's go with um, um, number uh, three. We are already choosing here, right? Retailer. Is a person or business that sells goods to public in small quantities for use. But I want to listen to Vanessa to read this one. 
a person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities for use. Okay, very nice, good, excellent. Number four. Okay, let me listen to uh, Domingo. Can you listen number four? Uh, professional to provide, provide the fair ideas and particular arts shoes as distribute logic. Okay. Uh, is, uh, number four is a uh, consultant. Okay, okay, very nice. A professional who provides expert advice in a particular area such as distribution logistics. Okay, so number four is going to be a consultant? Consultant. Oh, consultant. oh consultant. Consultant. Okay, very nice. Number four, very good. Number five. Uh, let me listen to Aminda. Okay. Uh, individual agency or company that sells a manufactured products to wholesalers and retail customers. Okay. An individual agency or company that sell manufactures products to wholesales and retail customers. Number five is going to be where? It's a manufacturer representative. Okay, and the rest? Manufacturer seller. Here or seller. here? No, manufacturer. the five will be manufacturer's representative. Okay, and wholesalers, wholesalers going to be number one? Or number five? Wholesaler is number one. Number one. In my personal opinion, but. Okay, okay, very nice. <laughs> what about yeah. the rest? But, but, but I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm okay, that's good. Sure. That's good. It's because, teacher, maybe the, the first one, it's manufacturers because it's talking about entity. Yes. This one, number one. Uh, yeah, yes. number one. It's not, it, it's not talking about uh, a person. It's like a, a, a distribution channel. And for me, it's manufacturer representative. Okay, let's look to uh, the reading. An yeah. intermediary entity, entity. Yeah. in the distribution channel that buys in bulk. So you mean? A big amount. An enterprise. Use and what? sells to resellers. Resellers, yeah. yeah. Manufacturer representative. Uh huh. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Yes, manufacturer representative. It is the right. Are you sure? For a seller. Okay. Yes. And then, okay. Both. And then we have the next one. An individual agency or a company that sells and manufactures <laughs> products to wholesales and retails customers. Manufacturer product is in manufacturers. The <laughs> here is the here you have the, the clue. Okay. Uh-huh. So the first one will be will sellers and the, the last one will be manufacturer representative. So here which number in here? Five. And here number one, yes. Wholesaler. Este es el mayorista, ¿verdad? Ok, perfect. Y aquí dice bulk. Cuando decimos in bulk, es que compramos en grandes cantidades. A granel. Yes, a granel, ¿verdad? Como decimos el montón, ¿verdad? Ok. And, y acá está la, la, la clave. Miren, a, dice y se lo vende a los revendedores. Right. En este caso, ¿verdad? Prácticamente se los está vendiendo a los que son minoristas. Que ya someone is writing in WhatsApp. I don't Ajá. know who is it. But it's trying to tell you that it failed. Oh, about the group. Oh, yes. Teacher is raining. My internet is failure. Rose. I don't know the name. It's still Rose. Okay. Oh, we are almost on time. Yeah, we are 10, 3. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, 
And then we have the next one is the clue here when it says uh, they sell manufactured products to wholesale and retail customers. So este es el que le vende a ambos, al minorista y al mayorista. ¿Por qué? Porque primero le vende al mayorista y luego, ¿verdad? Por ende llega al minorista. O sea que este es la company directly, ¿verdad? Que le está vendiendo al mayorista. Ok, perfect. Uh, time is over. El tiempo se nos ha acabado, right? So, pensé que eran las nueve todavía. Okay. Very nice. Do you have an equation before we leave? No. Okay. Just in order to leave, repeat after me. An intermediary entity. In the distribution channel. That buys in bulk and sell to resellers. Teacher, okay, sorry, what is the meaning of bulk? Bulk. Um, es comprar por grandes cantidades, ¿verdad? comprar el montón, comprar, el, ¿verdad? Por mayor, digamos así. Ok, vamos con la siguiente. An agent who supplies goods to a store and other businesses that sell to customers. Vamos con the last one. No, not the last one, the next one, sorry. I, a person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities for use. The next one, a professional who provides expert advice in a particular area such a distribution logistics. And the last one, an individual, agency or company that sells and manufactures products to wholesales and retails customers. Okay, very nice students. So right now I'm gonna take the attendance list for the last time. As uh, soon as you listen your name, tell me present, okay? Um, Adela Trinidad González, present. suegra. Adela? Present. Okay, very nice. Adela, you have to stay with me a few minutes after the rest leave, okay? Okay. Okay. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Okay, very nice. Dalem Batres Garcia. Present, teacher. Okay, very nice. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Present. Okay. Debbie Yasmin Giron Ramirez. Present. Very nice. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Very nice. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present, teacher. Okay. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. Leticia Guadalupe Garcia de Miranda. Present teacher. Okay, Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Okay, Oscar Alnufo Viatoro Herrera. Present. Okay, Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López, López, perdón. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, Mr. Ok. Sonia Iveta Alvarenga. Present. Ok. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present. Very good. Walter Omar Castaneda per, per, Perlera, eh, ¿verdad? Perlera, Perlera, yes. Perlera, ok, very nice. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Present. 
Okay, very nice. Okay, students, uh, thank you to be today in the class. See you tomorrow and the same hour and the same channel. Good night. 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 Okay, Adela, and this is the space in the case if you have an equation about the topic. I don't know if you have uh, some question about. I know it's the first class, right? But if you have an equation, you can let me know. Es el problema, que es la primera clase, no. Siempre me toca en la primera, así que no tengo okay. mucho que preguntar. Okay, Solo but... unas cosas. Ajá, sí, sí. Ahí, entre, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Algo así se dice, ¿cómo se dice? Emprendedores. Ajá, emprendedores, yes, entrepreneur. Ok. Quiero ver otro. Neither, neither. Which one, which one you said? Neither. Retailer. Donde dice Eli. Eli. Me neither. neither. Ah, okay, give me chance. Uh, ah, me neither. Neither. Ajá, neither. Okay. ¿Qué es neither? Uh, cuando decimos me neither, es una forma de decir yo tampoco. Ajá. Me neither, bro. El neither es como decir. Eh, tampoco, pero cuando le decimos a uh, mí neither, es como decir yo tampoco. Por ejemplo, si usted me dice, digamos que usted me dice, um, teacher, I don't like eh, pizza. Un ejemplo, right? Un ejemplo. I don't like pizza. Usted me dice, I don't like pizza. Yo le digo, oh, me neither. Uh, a mí tampoco. It's, it's the same to answer in the same way. Okay, I don't know if you have another question. Partnership. Ah, uh, partnership is como decir nuestros brothers, nuestros hermanos, eh, nuestros mm. camaradas, nuestro amigos, ajá. Está bien como lo digo, partnership. Partnership, yes, partnership. Mm -hmm. Which other one? ¿Cuál otra? Ah, sorry. Se hace complicado el primer día, porque no. Sí, sí, sí. Uh, but uh, I think in the future, because you are just 18 students, I can call you again. Le voy a volver a llamar la próxima vez. Eh, quizás en un par de clases más. Son 25 okay. clases las que vamos a tener. Va a haber chance de volver a preguntar. Va a haber tiempo, ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Okay, very nice, Adela. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. My nickname is Trini. Ah, yes, Trini. Trini. Okay. <laughs> I, I remember Trini. Okay. Okay, good night, Trini. Good night.